Okay, now we're gonna be looking at the openings. Um, this will be actually very interesting because you can start to create uh, windows, for instance. Uh, okay, so now as we pan around the building, we see that the building looks pretty straight and this is because the uh, lens that I'm using at the moment are um, uh, the, the angle is quite uh, small. I usually like to work with a 17 millimeters camera. Uh, as soon as you click on the lens length you can find this in uh, tools, uh, toolbar layout, you can look for the lens length, there it is, just click on it and it will appear. Yeah. Uh, and I like to work with this because it really gives you a, a, a sense of a, a perspective, yeah? Uh, so one way to work with openings, and this is something that I, I really enjoy, is to split the faces and to convert them into the, uh, the actual uh, glass layer. So for instance here we already have some glass on the building, or oh, you, uh, you remember that I moved the face in the uh, previous exercise, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna say move face, click it, use this corner as a reference point, tab key to lock it into that direction and then use the snap of the glass to get it back in place. Okay, so uh, here as you can see there is a very bad effect, this is because these surfaces are overlapping. Uh, what I did here I used these uh, reference lines. Don't know if you can see them. There they are. Uh, anyway, I used them to split the face. Uh, I'm gonna show you how I did it. So, for instance, we just need to make the glass layer active. So that means that everything that we're gonna do it will be on this uh, layer. We'll draw a line, and then we'll select this line, and we'll move it. We'll move it, tab key, sorry I didn't take the right reference, there you go, tab key, we'll move it up to these other lines so that the windows they will be uh, the same size. Yeah. So uh, for instance here you see that we have a certain distance which is uh, 2 meters. What we could do, very simple, we could grab this Oh, it's a group I see. Okay, now, well, what we can do, we can just grab a line, make it snap to the near, as you can see near, two meters, click, and then make it snap to the perpendicular, yeah? So what we can do now, we can just grab another line, and say two, make it snap, so eventually down there we're gonna have a line two meters long and what we can do we can just now grab this line say explode because we don't want the the whole L shape we just wanna have the curve here in the middle we can just copy it let's say one meter we'll make from last point use last direction and use last distance We'll make, let's say, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 panels, yeah? So basically, we're just going to click Select Last, we're going to type in Select Last, and what we're going to do, we're going to scale these lines in one direction up to this 2 meter uh, line. What that will do, it will divide these uh, lines, the space in between, um, in the right amount so that we're gonna have eight openings of the same size. So we're just gonna say scale 1D, as you can see, yeah, up here. Click here, and click here, and just go to this end line. So eventually we will have eight panels, uh, all of them the same size. Yeah? So as we can see we have 4 meter and 14 that should be the same. Yeah, perfect. So now that we have these lines, I can select this line as well and this line as well and uh, I can say Control G for a group. Then I can grab the surface I'll explode it. So I'll just select this face in front of us and input split. 
then I select the group and uh, click enter. At this point we will have some faces they will all be independent. What we can do, we can just go to properties and say glass. What that, uh, what that, what this does to basically to our model is create an opening that it's made of glass. If we go to rendered view, you can see we, that we can look through this. Um, let me go back here. What we can do, we can do the same here now. I can just select this face and say split. Select the group, and then I can hide very quickly the glass and then select these faces, delete them, and just activate the glass again. Now if we go back to the render view, we have openings through the building. Um, later on I can I want to show you also how to detail uh, these elements, like for instance how we can put a mullion in the middle, or a door maybe. So for instance, um, you know, this is a way to create openings through the building. And later on I'm gonna create maybe a uh, a little canopy for this uh, final uh, floor. And then we're gonna look at ways to actually detail the building a little bit more so to make it a little bit more interesting. So as always, you know, if you have any comments uh, or suggestions or you want me to explain you how to do certain things, just post it into the comments below and I'll try to get back at you as soon as possible. I'll see you at the uh, next video.